Hey guys, I'm back um, with another update on my Fluval Evo 13.5. Um, I have got quite a lot to um, to explain um, because in the past, well, on Sunday, um, I did get I did say I was going to be getting cleanup crew. Does so that mean snails, crabs, shrimp? Um, but I did end up getting a lot more than what I planned to. Um, it's just that I, I kept on seeing stuff um, that I really liked. Um, and I just had to get it um, since the tank was fully cycled pretty much, well pretty much yeah, um, so it is ready for fish. Um, so, bef be so before I, um, I show you the tank and get into what I've got, um, I do want to mention that um, about a week or two ago um, I did hear 100 subscribers, um, so thanks for that guys, thanks for the, uh, for the support. Um, I f did forget to mention it in my uh, previous um, video where I was showing off my uh, temperature and well heating and controller system um, go check that out um, there will be a link in the uh, description um, so yeah uh, thanks for that 100 subs I think I'm on 110 now um, so yeah keep um, keep subscribing keep, keep clicking the, uh, the like button comment if you have any questions um, so yeah, uh, I guess it's time to uh, to show the tank. Um, yeah, get ready. Right, everyone, get your seat belts on. Welcome to the Fluval Evo thirteen point five. It feels like I've only just started a video, but look, there's a fish right there. Is that and there's actually a fish in it. Okay, um. So first I'm just going to say what I've got, and then I'm just going to be doing into tiny little details um, about each thing, just quickly. Um, so, right, so let's just get this started. Um, oh, firefish just died away. Um, so what I got, um, it was about, oh well, yeah, it was about three days ago on Sunday. Today's Tuesday. Yeah, um, so then I went, I went to Brighton, well, Hove. Um, went to Paraquatics, um, and yeah, and I got one normal turbo snail, one Mexican turbo snail, one blue-legged hermit crab, one blood-red fire shrimp, um, and one, um, red firefish, or fire goby, however you want to say it. Um, so I did get quite a bit, um, this cost well for all everything that I, that I got well stock wise so crabs snails shrimp fish uh, I paid eighty eighty pound um which well, I guess is quite a bit because the shrimp was like thirty two the firefish was about thirty the crab was about ten and the snails were probably like fifteen um. Yeah, that's all I got. I didn't. I didn't. I just got livestock. I didn't get any weird magnets or you know, or anything else. Well, I just get these uh, these extra shells down. There's a few down the bottom, and there's one there. Um, yeah. Um, so first, let's um, let's start small, work our way up. So here, um, so here, on the end of here, right, right there, that is a snail. I'm pretty sure that's the regular turbo snail. Um, so it's a t turbo snail. So what it's going to do is it's going to clean any um, algae in the tank, um, which is good. Uh, nothing really to say apart from it's a turbo snail. Um, probably one of the best type of snails you can get. Um, yeah, that's the regular turbo snail. Up here in this corner, Right in that corner there, um, I'm pretty sure that's the Mexican turbo snail, which I have to say is probably the best, well, I, the best um, type of snail that you can get. From, so if you have a big algae problem and you don't know what snail to get, and you're looking for something that cleans algae, then Mexican turbo snail, yeah, go for definitely one of those, because they're really fast. Um, Eats pretty much anything it goes over. Um, really active, looks cool. Um, so yeah, there's the Mexican turbos now. Okay, right here. Um, I guess you saw in the background when I was saying about my normal turbos now. Um, you saw this thing moving. This is the blue-legged hermit crab. 
Um, not much to say about these apart from they are really, really active. They're always moving. You never see them when they're not moving. Always picking stuff off rocks, any kind of algae, leftover foods. Look cool. Um, and if you put shells like here, here, well, I'm just saying like there's a few shells on the tank that I've put in. Um, uh, they will, they'll probably eventually just move shells. Um, because they do that when they get too big for their shell, um, they'll get out and then they'll move to something else. Um, so you've got to make sure that you have at least one other shell in the tank just in case your crab does need to um, to, to switch if it's getting too big for its shell. Um, I don't recommend keeping these two blue-legged together because they can be a bit aggressive against each other. Um, blue and a red should be fine. Um, Again, I would look into proper videos um, on these before purchasing multiple of different species of blue legged, red legged, Halloween legged things. Um, so yeah, that's the blue legged. Um, they do also... Um, here's the corner of the glass. Um, I will probably, well, maybe in the next video, um, I will show or well, upload a video um, of me seeing this crab actually climb the corner of the glass because what they do is they get a little claws and they start climbing up the uh, the silicon um, natural thing to do they're not going to harm the uh, the silicon so make holes in it they just climb it um, so yeah there's the uh, there's the blue legged hermit crab a really great character um, yeah right next here the, uh, the firefish is right in the way I'll get to that last because it's my favourite um, we're in well, behind it there, um, thanks for moving, um, that is a blood red fire shrimp, um, not supposed to be as much out or active um, as the normal scarlet skunk cleaner shrimps, um, but, but this one's always been out, it's always hanging underneath there, gonna um, it's going to pick at algae, um, any leftover food, um, Does it, mine does actually eat brine shrimp, algae wafers, yeah, simple stuff. Um, yeah, great addition to a tank. Looks really cool. Again, especially when they start climbing on this uh, this white sand here. Looks r their red really pops out. Um, yeah, they are really really red, and then they got a few wh white circles on them. Yeah, really good um, shrimp. Um, probably the best that I've ever seen so far. Um, so yeah. Um, there's my blood red fire shrimp. Um, now let's go to best or last. Let's, yeah, best or last. Right, so um, obviously I have to leave the best and my favourite till last. Um, and that's this fish right here. Um, this is called a fire fish. Um, there are a few different kinds like red zebra banner fish, well, dark fish. There are purple fire fish. This is just the standard red firefish, which I think is the best looking with its yellow head, yellow fin, um, and then orange on its back, or oh, rear tail. Um, yeah, really cool, easy to care for. Um, I will be doing um, videos on everything in this tank, and um, so I'll be doing like care guides on pretty much everything. Um, so yeah... Uh, Firefish, I know, well, so far it's been in there a few days, no issues with it. Isn't eating spectrum pellets or anything else. All it seems to be interested in is brine shrimp, but I'm sure you can get them onto anything. Um, hoping, fingers crossed, I can, get, I can get him onto spectrum pellets because that will really boost his, um, his colour um, by a lot, like it did on, a, on my recent tank with my cardinal tetras, especially my beta fish. Um, so yeah, there's my fire fish. Um, do comment down below if you've got any kind of name, um, because I am looking to name him, uh, because he's got to have a name. It's my main fish. I mean, I named my uh, my beta fish, um, my recent tank, my jewel tank. Um, I named him Arto. Um, this I'm kind of looking for, I don't know, something cool. Um, something to do with his, his fish, so it's a fire fish, so something like fiery kind of thing. Um, so yeah, please comment if you think of uh, any names for it. Um, 
So yeah, I think that's uh, that's all I have to say um, for what I've got. Um, so that's again one crab, two well one turbo snail, one Mexican turbo snail, fire goby, um, and a red blood cleaner shrimp. And I don't know what they're doing over here, but this crab seems to be on the turbo snail, and the turbo snail is just spinning. I'm just gonna quickly. <laughs> see what is going on here because I have no idea I think he's some kind of theme park or I have no idea what's going on but it looks kind of strange but funny um so yeah um probably the one of the quickest videos I've ever ever done one of them um I'm gonna leave the video here it does feel a bit short but um in the next video hopefully um I'll be getting my next two clown um fish which kinda I'm gonna spoil it. Um they're gonna be clown fish because it's really easy to guess. Um easy fish, easy really easy, probably well is the easiest fish ever. Two clownfish, um thinking Ocelaris, but if I do see any kind of designer clownfish or any type of other clownfish that I see, um um I might go for that. Um but uh, I'm look very much looking into um, Ocelaris clownfish because they're the best looking by far. Just really normal, just cool clownfish. Um, again, I might I might want names for them, but they're hard to choose. So I'm just gonna, you know, two names that are kind of similar to each other. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this video here. Um, is quite an early video it's only been a few days but i did want to kind of excited to do this video say everything about what i've got um so yeah you'll see me in roughly a week um or it might be a few days whenever i get these uh these new fish or anything that i get new which will probably be the clownfish next um so yeah you'll uh, see me then um bye